Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're looking at the ECM WF42 day model for today's second video. This is your 42 day slash six week look out for the UK and for Ireland. And I shall get over that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video today was our six day UK weather forecast. Got a weekend forecast and a 10 14 day on the way today. Uh, so please like, share, subscribe, share, share everyone for a dear match for Gals Worthy. Thank you so much everyone. And thanks so much to ECM WF.INT for supplying the charts and the data. As well, by the way, thank you so much, EC. All right, we're going to start off with week one, uh, mean sea level pressure anomaly. And by the way, we're just going to get us to the 21st of April. So, uh, you know, it's extended look at. <laughs> uh, but let's start with week one, uh, which takes us from the 10th through to the 17th of March. Next week, we'll see high pressure blocking in the North Atlantic and around Green Iceland. Low pressure will be to the south of the east of that and bring the wind in from an east or a northeasterly. A direction looking unsettled and potentially. <coughs> So, sorry, well, potentially quite cold. 500 millibar height anomaly shows that block up uh, very nicely. Again, around green ice and low pressure underneath there. And winds again coming in from that cold east to north easterly direction. So, temperature anomalies uh, next week are coming out below average. It's a cold of an average week to come by about 1 to 3 degrees. If the bottle is right there and it's largely on the drier side as well uh most precipitation is through uh the southern and eastern a part of uh, europe we close that blocking area of high pressure and therefore looking drier week two will be the 17th to 24th of march well this week sees high pressure more focus on scandinavia which could bring the wind in from more of an easterly type direction there 500 millibar height anomaly shows a large ridge covering uh, much of northern and also western Europe. Temperature anomalies are lifting up, so winds sort of east southeasterly, uh, maybe, and that picks the temperature anomaly up back closer to average or slightly above. And it's another dry, uh, dry week as well with uh, high pressure. Keeping us on the dry side. Week 3 is 24 to the 31st of March. Um, plenty of high pressure influences again from the Atlantic into West Europe. Low pressure towards Green Iceland. That looks like a reversion back to more of a westerly type flow. <coughs> So sorry once more, everyone. 500 millibar heights again with plenty of uh, above average heights, high pressure through uh, much of Europe. Temperature anomalies are again coming out above average in those uh, uh, more vibrant colours. That's about one to three degrees above normal. Very mild for the last week of March. And the precipitation anomaly, again, is dry of an average. And that'll round off really a very dry uh, March, I think. Week 4 will be the 31st of March to the 7th of April. Now starts to look rather mysterious. So let's put in a question mark, as it's not particularly clear what's happening there. <laughs> uh, 500 millibar heights uh, with uh, above average heights more um, to the east of uh, east of us. Lower pressure paths up here and winds again coming in from a west or southwest sea direction maybe. Temperature anomalies are uh, again uh, a little bit above average. A mild start to April there. And precipitation anomalies uh, show no particular signal. And then week 5 will be the 7th to the 14th of uh, March. Bit of a, uh, April, sorry. A bit of a, signs, a, bit of a sign of a change here. Some high pressure up towards Greenland and uh, lower pressure through the continent. Could that bring the wind in from a north northeast direction? Could that be a tropospheric response to strap warm? I wonder. <laughs> 500 millibar height anomaly shows uh, blocking up towards the uh, North Pole. So, again, that might be uh, a tropospheric response to the strap warm. And the temperature anomaly is coming down, though still slightly uh, above average. No sign of anything that cold. And precipitation-wise, again, not much of a signal. And then finally, uh, week 6 will be the 14th, 21st of April. And again, we have high pressure... In the Atlantic, going towards Greenland, low pressure through uh, the continent. 
500 millibar heights look like that. So, uh, again, mid Atlantic Ridge extending up to the Canadian side of Greenland there. <coughs> so, sorry once more, everyone. Temperature only slightly above average, but uh, no more than that. And temptation wise, very weak signal, but probably turning a bit more unsettled. So actually, after a very dry uh, March, we might be in for a slightly uh, wetter April. But it is uh, a really weak signal. Okay, well, maybe just a snapshot of what the model is showing. Could look completely different when we do this uh, next week for the European Outlook on Tuesday, and indeed next Saturday for the UK and Ireland focus video. Any forecast on five, seven days comes with big help when there's a large pinch to start attached. That is always the caveat. We're going to be back a little bit later on with weekend forecast and 10 14 day. Come back for that later for the EC42 day of both for this week. That's all for now. Uh, thanks so much.